What's going on, y'all? So listen. You see what my shirt say? It says unstoppable, bitch, because we fucking are. All right, let me just... Let me just gather myself for a second. I literally just got home, just fixed me something to eat. Haven't even ate yet. Like, ugh. Black Panther. Motherfucker Wakanda for fucking ever, bitch, okay? That's what we gon' You know what? Like, we need to just... <sighs> okay, okay. So, I went to go see Black Panther today which is Saturday, the 17th. I was so annoyed at the fact that people had like Thursday night um, screenings of it. They was going on Thursday night. And when I say Thursday night, like it was like eight o'clock and shit like that. I was like, God damn, how y'all get tickets that early? Fuck me, shit. I wanted to go, but see, I had to work um today so i said fuck it let me just go today because i was gonna go yesterday and i said what's the point of wasting money coming to the movie theater when i'll be down here on saturday because yesterday was my day off so i'm like fuck it i'll just go after work and i got the um six o'clock showing i got off at five and i got that six o'clock showing bitch i get there first of all um i was hyped okay we all been hyped about this show about this movie, about what it will bring. And I, this is the first time in a long time, probably since Get Out, that I've heard nothing but good reviews about the show, about a movie or whatever. And for it to be a predominantly black cast too, I was just like, oh my God, you know, so I really, really had to go see this. Um, the whole Black Panther thing, I'm gonna be quite honest with y'all. I don't read these comic books, but I do love the Marvel movies, and I do like some of the DC movies, but I like Marvel way better than the DC movies, okay? But, you know, at the end, I seen all the, you know, Avenger movies, Captain America and all that shit, and at the Civil War movie, that's when we first got introduced, well, I did to Black Panther, I knew about it, never read the comics, but I knew of them, so I wasn't belligerent to it, you know, so... Uh, when he popped up, bitch, let me just tell you, I knew this shit was going to be, they had to do it right. You know how they had to do it right? Because when Civil War came out and then when Black Panther just popped up and it wasn't even him, it was the bald headed bitch that was with her. The bald headed sister, I should say. Now I'm going to call him bitch because we got to, you know, protect eyes. Okay. The bald headed sister that was with her. Bitch, she was every fucking thing and then he popped up in his little latex suit i was like the fuck is going on bitch that's black motherfucking panther the whole fucking theater went up for that at that time this wasn't even his movie this was during the civil war movie for the avengers and shit and the theater is going up for black panther and this like i said it wasn't even focused primarily on him you know and so that movie set up some of the stuff that happened in this movie you know the background about his father getting killed and um all that and so i guess with the demand and the hype from that they said bitch we got to make a black panther movie and bitch did they they took their motherfucking time and they did this shit fucking right i'm not gonna give no fucking spoilers because it's saturday some of y'all probably didn't already seen it but some haven't, and so I want to respect those that haven't. Please don't leave no spoilers in the um, comments. All I'm going to say is if you have not seen the movie, please go out there and see it. Please go out there and um, support it. We out here breaking numbers. We out here breaking records. You know, we doing it big. Um, black folks out here showing the fuck out, okay? Y'all bitches are showing the fuck out, and I fucking love it. And you want to know why I'm saying it like that? Because, you know, I had posted some stuff, you know, from yesterday, seeing some of y'all going to the premiere date of the thing, and everybody dressed up in their dyke shiki and, and their kente cloth, and, you know, you had some people coming dressed as a, um, coming to America. I was like, what is this, Zumanda, uh, uh, Zamunda meets Wakanda? And it was cute. It was fun. So I posted it on my um, Facebook. And this one particular person kind of rugged me the wrong way because of the way that she worded it. Um, saying that, you know, black people do too much. Mind you, she black as fuck herself. And she said, you know, black people just doing too much. And that's why I'm going to get my tickets on the other side of town in the white theaters or whatever. So I don't have no fucking distractions and, you know kept on giving this explanation saying that her kids don't you know I, i'm gonna take my kids so they won't be distracted they just sit there and look at the movie and quiet and if you go on my facebook page i still got it up y'all can read the comments basically what she trying to equate i was like so you trying to equate 
the fact that these black people, your black people, okay, are out here celebrating the fact that we have a phenomenal film that is out about superheroes and painting us not in a negative ass light. Okay, we are out here, you know, building shit, expanding on technology, all this shit in the medical field. You know, we are rulers, we are queens, we are kings, we are princesses, we are beautiful. You are upset or 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 in your feelings and saying that, you know, that's a distraction for people to come in. I didn't come to see this. I don't want all that distraction and that disturbance. I'm, in. I'm sitting here like, wait a minute, boo-boo. I didn't um um see what's going on or what's the problem with black people coming to dressed up as uh you know in their African garb or they fake African garbs or whatever you want to call it or dressed up as the characters um you know and celebrating this 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 milestone okay because this has not really been done in a while if it has been done when I can't tell okay the last time like I said people went up and a lot of black folks went up for a movie and that was with Get Out okay. And so my whole thing is, why are you so upset about this? Or why do you feel the way that you feel? It was the wording. And it almost like she equated um, um, them dressing up, us dressing up or whatever, as to being loud and disruptive in the um, theater. Because she said she wanted to watch the movie in silence. Baby, we was up in that motherfucking movie theater. And we I had a whole bunch. We'll get to that. It was, I have yet to hear anybody say that during the actual movie, people were being disruptive. Okay, I have yet to hear anything like that. And, you know, for her to say some shit like that, I said, so what is the difference? How come it's okay for those who go see the Star Wars and the Star Treks and, you know, the Harry Potter movies, the Lord of the Ring movies and all these other movies where you can do cosplay with, um, um, they come dressed up and don't nobody say nothing. It's acceptable. It's acceptable. But then when we do it in this movie right here, celebrating us, something that's never been done really before to this magnitude. And we don't know when it's going to happen again to this magnitude. How come we can't, why is it a problem that we want to just come in and dress? Our dress is a problem. How is our dress distracting you from watching what's on the screen? Because as soon as the lights go out, baby, you can't see nothing but that motherfucking screen. And you're going to enjoy that shit. You ain't going to be looking in the audience and seeing who got on what and what who doing. That shit blew the fuck out of me. I was like, you know what? And then try to um put up the fact that she, you know, she do the uh, cosplay shit and they dress up. Okay, okay, so what's the problem? I don't like people that do shit like that. You know, let us have, don't kill the vibe. Let us have our moments. This is a beautiful moment for all of us, okay? For all of us. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm just relishing it in. I'm just taking it all in because this is something that we needed. Um, it's a positive thing. With so much stuff that's going on in this world right about now, so much negativity, we got this one fucking movie that's bringing all of us together. And when I say all, not just black folk, but every fucking body. I went to the movie theaters downtown, okay? And when I was waiting in line, because I had already ordered my ticket online Wednesday, um, I was about to go up, and he was like, boo-boo, you got to wait in line, because the line right there for the 6 o'clock show. And I said, oh, shit. Okay, so, bitch, let me get up in this line. I came there early enough, so when I they let us through, I could give me a good seat. But it was nothing but, I say it was a handful of black folks, but it was a whole bunch of white folks and others, okay? Other, you know, races and nationalities or whatever. And, you know, I was like, oh, okay, so this is how we're going to do it. This time, you know, y'all can come see it too. Ain't nobody say you couldn't. So, you know, it was beautiful to see, though. It was really beautiful to see. You know, I did feel away for a minute. But then I said, Ashley, they coming and spending their coins because they want to enjoy the movie too. And I said, you know what? You got damn right. Y'all going to sit y'all ass down and you going to enjoy some fucking black culture. Don't take it, but you can enjoy some African fucking culture. Bitch, and when I say African fucking culture, I didn't know it was going to get that deep up into it bitch i did not know pause before we get into the goddamn movie i'm sitting in my seat these three girls know it was four of them now they was um most of them the girl that was sitting by me she was asian i believe then the girl next to her was white no she was a light-skinned black and then the other girl was white and all this shit bitch throughout the whole movie through the previews they're talking they're talking okay i'm gonna give you that because the movie ain't come on yet but it was a certain part in the movie where they was talking about how, you know, white people came in and, you know, y'all just take shit. Oh, another white boy. Who is this other white boy? Something that the sister said. 
bitch, bust out laughing so hard. And I said, I know you ain't laughing, girl, but at least you got a sense of humor and you can learn about your ancestor too, about how they took shit. Bitch, I was just like annoyed at that point. Because they just, and it wasn't the fact that they was laughing. It was, it, it just felt like they was putting on. Because it was parts where it was funny. And everybody in the theater like, ah, shit. They like, ha, 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 ha. I said, bitch, if you don't fucking stop. I shouldn't have to. That was the only drawback of me enjoying the movie. Uh, other than that, I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. And I, like I said, suggest that you go see it. And please, when you go there, stay to the end of the credits, Okay. Because it's another scene. Um, I will say this. I'm not going to give out uh, spoilers or whatever. But when I say I was just so in awe at the cinematography. So in awe at the way that they tried to keep the accents going. The language. Oh my God, they was talking in the language, in the African language, where they do the song, 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 and they be, I said, bitch, are they clicking? Oh my God, I know what this is. Bitch, I got hype right in there. I got hype right in there. I was like, oh my God, I know this. Because it, let me tell you something, back in eighth grade, we had to watch this movie, and it was in subtitles, and it was an African movie, and, um, you know, they were literally, that was the first time I heard that language where they click in the middle of the words. Like, they literally, and I said, how can you learn a language? That seems so difficult to me to just, to want to learn that language, you know? So, you saying regular words, but you also clicking, you gotta, and, and they say it so fucking fluently. Bitch, we so fucking amazing, bitch. We are so fucking amazing, like, <sighs> You know, bitch, we that shit, okay? I'm just sitting there like, all right, you got me right here. You got me right here, bitch. When the movie come on, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to give y'all this part. There's a hidden gem up in here that I didn't even know was going to be up in this movie, okay? And I like when I said I avoided spoilers, bitch, I'm hungry as fuck. When I said I, um, that is some good fish. Mmm. Get a carrot. Bitch, I'm on this healthy eating shit. First of all, because my stomach can't handle anything else. I feel a little bit better for my acid reflux shit, but anyway. I avoided all spoilers, okay? If there was anything. So when I got in the theater and when it started, and it started from the very beginning, when it goes, because when it, the movie at the very beginning, it goes back to the year 1992, okay? And then it goes to the present. All right, and I was like, who the fuck is this? Bitch, is that? That's, oh, shit, look at you. This is, I knew it was going to be bomb right then and there. And then when we got a younger um, uh, um, Black Panther, his daddy, maybe, I ain't finna say the names because I ain't trying to butcher him. But uh, I said, oh, he kind of cute. I was like, all right, look at all this fine specimen of chocolateness up in this movie, too. I just loved it. Let me tell you something. The skin, the close-up on that skin. Oh, my God. Angela Bassett, when she had her hair in the dreads, the gray dreads. Oh, I can't wait till my shit look like that, bitch. My shit gonna be flowing. You ain't gonna be able to tell me shit, okay? I said, oh, Lupita, okay? And you wanna know who my favorite character was? Really, really was? Michonne. All right, I ain't gonna um, fuck up her name, but Michonne from Walking Dead. Now, see, she ain't really had to practice that much to get into the character because she was the general, all right? And her thing was <laughs> with the goddamn staff and the spear and shit. That's what the fuck she used on the fucking Walking Dead. She used that and she used that, um, you know, the the, the, the knife, whatever. So she she learned. She got her little lessons in and shit. And she was doing it, bitch. That one scene when they was up in that bar. Uh, when they was up in South Korea, that was the best fucking scene. Okay, that was one of the best scenes. But it was the colors. <sighs> they made it so colorful. They made, I mean, it just African and African American Africans put any type of color on our skin and it just fucking pop. And baby did that color pop. 
I said, oh my God, this is so beautiful. When they had the little ritual and they was doing the little ceremony and they was juking up in that bitch, I said, Lupita, you better twerk that ass, girl. I said, bitch, I want the fucking score to this movie. I I, I got the album. You know, I want the score because I want all the... It was so heavily based in African influences and everything. Like, they was trying to stay true to the continent of Africa or somewhat to it, bitch. If they was faking it, bitch, you couldn't tell. Um, They tried to put the... Bitch, when they was in there doing that... I was sitting there doing that shit, too. I was like, oh, shit, what we got to do? Let me tell you something. The dude, the dude who um tried to fight uh uh the uh panther in um the first time for the, the throne who challenged him. He a G. Let me tell you something. And Mr. Get Out, Mr. Get Out tried it. Okay, I'm gonna just tell y'all that Mr. Get Out tried it. He fucking tried it, and you know the CGI was everything. Um, <laughs> I love the fact that you know. It's some hidden mess. It's not really hidden in there. It's basically, you know, you are this country, this beautiful ass country, because when you first see it, they start talking about the country as if it's a third world poor ass country. And that's what they got it hidden, what they truly are, which is this magnificent, you know, uh, advanced technological country. Okay. Where they have this uh, is a verbatim, whatever you want to call it. That's what they own. And it's just healing everything. And it's just controlling everything. And they just using it to their advantage. And, you know, with Michael B. Jordan, I'm so glad that they put the scarifications up in there because that's part of certain African cultures. Um, <clears throat> you know, the what he had on his body, you know, and what like uh, Mr. Get Out and his people had on his body, on his face or whatever. They put the little scars. That's part of, you know, in some cultures, African cultures, the different tribes, them, you know, the men coming into manhood, manhood, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, I be learning. Okay. I love this stuff. All right. I, you have to get into it. You have to get into it. I was so glad that when they was talking about certain things that I knew some of the stuff that they was talking about, like when it was in the art gallery and they was talking about the different, you know, parts of, uh, kingdoms and stuff where it comes from them artifacts come from i was like okay yep i know about that one i heard about that one i was like oh i love this i love this and michael b jordan michael b jordan played the fuck out of a fucking villain okay i said nigga you ain't gonna fucking um uh, oakland scroll your ass i said is this motherfucker about to crip walk up in this bitch okay because he was giving mad attitude like you know he he was badass and i honestly I understood where he was coming from and it was one of those situations where y'all sitting here with all of this while you seeing your people don't know where they come from and you see them going through a whole bunch of shit but your child over here uh, prospering and you could have used what you have these valuable resources that you have that keep y'all going keep y'all you know rich and, and 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 um you know intact and you know free from colonization free from oppressors you could have been using that to help others that was less fortunate. Who the fuck are you to just sit here and watch everybody else, you know, suffer? Who got the same colors? Bitch, it was everything. I was like, you know what? I got to go see this again. And I will go see it again. Um, I'm going to see it in a different theater because I need a different vibe. But, listen. Everybody was just beautiful. I love the sister. The sister, Siri, like, girl, girl, she was hilarious. I just seen her on Black Mirror on the Black Museum um episode and I've been seeing her here and there in different um you know things but everybody did that shit in this motherfucking movie. I love their hands down one of the best movies action fl flicks that I've seen in a minute, okay? And I'm looking forward to Black Panther 2. Um, I'm looking forward to us just showing the fuck out again and just coming out in droves and, you know, supporting it. Please, like, we supporting this because it's, most of us black folks are supporting it because it's an all black thing some, somewhat, you know. And it never really been done like this on this level before. I want us to go out and I want us to go support, you know, a wrinkle in time. We have a female, a woman, a black woman, Ava DuVernay, who got a hundred million dollar budget to do a movie okay 
and you got Oprah, Reese Witherspoon, um, that Mindy girl. You got all of these people in here and these, you know, I, I want us to go out there in droves and support that. I want us to go out and support the Lion King too because, bitch, that's what it was giving me, girl. And then I was just, I just went... I, for some reason, you know, parts of it when they was doing a little ritual thing to, um, you know, challenge for the throne the first time and they was doing the music and stuff, it just reminded me of the color purple when they was in Africa doing the flashback and they was like, hey, and then they, nah, 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 nah. you know, girl, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, but I ain't gonna give y'all too much, okay? But it was just, it was everything. I loved it. Bitch, let me tell you something. When I was coming out and I get into the lift, okay? He was like, oh, so you just came for the movie. What movie did you go see? Did you go see that movie? And I said, Black Panther. He was like, yeah. And I was like, yeah. He was like, how was it? I said, it was, it was, it was awesome. It was amazing. It was great. It was everything. And he was like, don't you think it's a coincidence that they put, or uh, uh, it's awfully convenient that they put this movie out the time that they put it out with all this stuff going on with, you know, these fuck ass white supremacists and these uh, hating ass Nazi and all the bullshit that's going on right now. Now, as for, uh, at first I was here for what he was saying. I was like, you know, I understand where you're coming from a little bit, you know, but uh, it is what it is, you know. It just so happened to come out at this time. We didn't know that Trump was going to be up in his uh, office and, uh, you know, and do all this stuff. All this shit was going to pop off the way they did. And he was like, you know, I'm just, he hasn't seen the movie yet. But then going to tell me that he's just annoyed that the movie came out at this time the way it did. How come, and he literally said, how come this movie didn't come out like during Obama's time? I said, bitch. That's what I wanted to cut off. And then I just, I just had to school him. I said, you know what? You haven't seen the movie, and he haven't even seen the other movies to even be talking about this shit. And then I had to tell him, you know, if you were to look at the Avengers movies, the Captain America movies, at the last Avengers, Civil War, um, was it Civil War? The last one, whichever one, that's when he popped up in there. And I believe that movie came out during the tail end of Obama's administration. So that's when we first got introduced uh, to the well, film going people got introduced to Black Panther. So therefore, because of that demand and that hype, we had another, you know, they started working on the movie. That's why. So it's not really that much of a coincidence, but I get what you're saying because it has a lot of powerful little um, stuff in there to make you think that kind of go along with what's going on right now. But I was just like, nigga, if you don't shut up. And he was, I don't know what he was, but he went black. So it wasn't like he was trying to be rude, but he just, when he said, I'm just annoyed that it came out right now. Why? Why? Everything else is coming out right now. Uh, anyway, don't let nobody put no damp on your fucking parade. I enjoyed the movie. Please go out and see it. Please go out and support it. And don't, if you want to fucking dress up, bitch, dress the fuck up and go the fuck all out, okay? Y'all tell me y'all experiences without dropping any real spoilers up in the comments. Um, did you enjoy the movie? Have you seen the movie? Are you looking forward to it? You know, just open up a discussion and talk. And what was your, your experience? That's all. And I'll see y'all later, y'all. Peace. Because I love us for real. Like... I love us for real. Like that, oh, it was just so beautiful.